Providence Resources, the London and Dublin quoted oil and gas exploration and production company, today announced that it has successfully flow tested light, high quality oil at its Barry Row appraisal well off the southern coast of Ireland. The well has flowed at rates which significantly exceeded the company's pre-drill expectations and has put the project firmly on the path towards commercial development. The Barry Row oil discovery was made by Esso Exploration, part of what is now Exxon Mobil during the 1970s, and even though oil was successfully flowed from three of five wells drilled over a 20-year period, no development of the oil resources was undertaken. The recent higher oil price environment and new technology has spurred a re-evaluation of historical discoveries such as Barry Row, with a number of such fields being successfully developed in the nearby UK North Sea. Providence drilled this new well to gain a modern insight into the oil quality and the reservoir rock in which it is hosted, data which was not available from the previous wells drilled. As part of this process, Providence set a target for production of 1,800 barrels of oil per day, a figure which has been more than surpassed with this well, which delivered about 3,500 barrels of oil per day. A recent Barry Row audit indicated that the discovery could contain up to nearly one billion barrels of oil. The company will now integrate all of the new well data with a 3D seismic survey which was acquired in 2011 to map the Barry Row oil reservoirs and prepare for the next phase of activity. The new Barry Row well, which is pictured here, is the first in a major multi-basinal drilling programme which represents an investment of upwards of $500 million by Providence Resources and its partners. The drilling programme in six different basins offshore Ireland is the largest concerted hydrocarbon exploration effort in the history of the state. Providence Resources holds an 80% interest in the licence in Barry Row and is the operator on behalf of its partner Lansdowne Oil & Gas who own 20%.